everyone welcome back again now let's see today's recipe is wanga batata rasa this is a maharashtrian recipe and each marathi household has their own version of the masalas this is how i make it and i wanted to share it with you all this will be a new recipe for you to try and i know you're going to like it let's see how to make it come on this recipe calls for a little extra oil than usual but you can always adjust as per how much you like a good tempering enhances the flavor of the dish take your time and cook on medium heat now the dried coconut powder has a unique flavor and will also give the gravy a nice texture just saute so that it turns light brown chop the onions as finely as possible so that they cook quickly fresh ginger and garlic paste is the best if you can have it ready you can add tomato puree also if tomato paste is not available Now once you add the tomato paste add the salt so that it oozes out moisture Now you can always adjust the spiciness as per your choice All these spices will be an added bonus to the dish when their awesome flavors merge together Always add hot water so that oil separates quickly and makes the dish vibrant. Mix and bring to a rolling boil. Look at how the oil has separated. Preferably try using baby potatoes and I have peeled them. These are baby eggplants slit on opposite sides for the gravy to reach inside. Now the curry looks a bit thick and this will thicken later as we cook it. So we will adjust by adding more hot water. Cover and cook until soft checking once in between. I'll be bringing you some new and amazing and exciting recipes something which I have tried and tested with my family so please stay tuned and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll get notified with any new recipe that I post every week thank you now let's get back to the recipe these have been cooking for 10 minutes let's see how they look wow add the rest of the spices for added flavor Now jaggery is preferred but you can also use brown sugar if jaggery is not available. This is roasted sesame seed powder and roasted peanut powder. Check the description box below to see how I made these. Mix lightly as we don't want the potatoes to break. These are already cooked and we want to just integrate the flavors well. Half cover for the oil to separate. Wow, doesn't this look just beautiful? Garnish with coriander leaves and we are good to go. Our wanga batata rasa is ready and you can have this with rice or rotis. Enjoy and thanks for watching. Always try to make something new and different for your family. This will be an addition to your recipes. I hope you like it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next week. Bye.